Hello guys, I hope you're having a great time. Our today's video is going to be an amazing, informative and interactive one. We're going to explain in detail about the different types of supports you'll deal with in structural engineering. So, let's begin our video without wasting any time. You know what? Supports are one of the most critical aspects in any structure. Supports provide stability and strength. In fact, they're responsible for transferring the load from one member to the ground. So, if you're dealing in structures, you must know about the different types of supports and how they differ. You might have heard about fixed support, roller support, simple support or hinge support, but what are they all? Well, these supports are responsible for providing restraint to the structural member to avoid lateral or vertical movement or deflection. They're in fact the reason why structures are able to resist forces and transfer them safely. These supports are also responsible for the necessary stiffness in a structural member. You know what? Depending on the type of support and the member, these supports can provide restraints in various directions. So, let's now start our first type of support that is roller support. Roller supports can only resist perpendicular forces but are free to move laterally. They allow for movement along surfaces without resistance to horizontal forces. So, you know, roller supports can be in the form of rubber bearings or gears. For instance, consider a load on roller skates. The weight remains in place if there is no horizontal force. However, once a horizontal force is applied, the body starts moving. Roller supports are advantageous, especially in bridge construction. We generally place roller supports at the end of bridge spans in the form of bearing pads. Roller supports are also used in frame cranes and allow for right or left movement. The disadvantage of roller supports is that they cannot resist horizontal forces and there is a need for other types of supports to resist these forces in a structure. The next on our list of supports is hinge support or pin support. Pin support is pretty common in civil engineering. A pinned support does not allow movement either vertically or horizontally, but allows for rotation. Well, I mean, in most cases, a pin support only allows for twisting in one direction. A good example is a human knee. It provides for turning in one direction but resists lateral movements. It is rare to find ideal pin supports in practice, However, simply supported beams are typically regarded as pinned. The support conditions affect the distribution of moments in the beam. We also use pinned supports in trusses and three-hinged arched bridges. The advantage of pinned supports is that it makes it easy to join multiple members together. The joining induces an axial force, and since the supports do not resist any moments, the design is limited to the axial force. The only limitation of pin supports is that a single pin support cannot completely restrain a structure. One needs at least two pin supports for restraint. Let's now move on to the next support that is fixed support. Well, as the name suggests, fixed supports are the most rigid types of supports that constrain structural members from any movements. The structural member cannot rotate or translate in any direction. A perfect example of a fixed support is a flagpole with a concrete base. The pole cannot move or rotate in any direction. Generally, for the stability of a structure, the structure should at least have one fixed support. This support offers more excellent structural stability than any other kind of support. Fixed supports are advantageous in situations where you can only use one support, such as cantilever beams. They ensure a structure is adequately constrained and static. Sometimes the most significant advantage also serves as the greatest disadvantage. A structure might need some wiggle room, but fixed supports do not allow it. As concrete gains strength, it also expands. Therefore, an improperly designed support may reduce durability in the structural members brought about by the increase in stresses. The next is simple supports. Simple supports are when structural members rest on other members. Simple supports are like roller supports whereby the members can resist vertical forces but they cannot restrain horizontal forces. An excellent example of such a support is a plank of wood resting on two blocks of stone. The plank can resist the vertical load but cannot resist the corresponding horizontal forces. If you apply a shear force, the plank will support it, but a horizontal force will quickly get the plank to slide off the support. Simple supports are rarely used in engineering as they pose a considerable safety risk. Engineers sometimes use these supports or in areas that experience frequent seismic activities.